this tree there is one of the most extraordinary plant predators. It's one animal that I don't need to sneak up on. Woo! This extraordinary creature is half blind, half deaf, and this is just about as fast as it can move. That's what's going to happen to you if you live on nothing but leaves. It's a sloth. The sloth's technique is to give them time. Then, eventually, this mobile compost heap pulls itself together and starts on a long and dangerous journey. This is a very unusual sight. A sloth in a hurry. It wants to defecate, and the only place it's happy doing that, oddly enough, is down on the ground. It only does it about once a week. But why does it come down to the ground to do it? And why does it nearly always choose to do so in exactly the same place? Whatever the reason, it must be very important, for a sloth on the ground is almost helpless. Any predator could attack it, and it doesn't have the speed to escape. Why it comes down in this way is a mystery. Nobody knows. The sloth's way of compensating for that is not to eat more, but to do less. And to save energy, it spends most of its time hanging around half asleep in the tree house. So, with very little muscle and a reaction time only a quarter as fast as ours, how does a sloth's day compare with our day? For me personally, like when I'm playing, there's different ways that I approach the game depending what, on what my goals are. For instance, um, when I'm grinding a tank and uh, I've got my boosters on, such as it is in this game, and um, and it's my first victory of the day, so it's times two XP. It's kind of very different than to say when I'm playing in my mercenary tank, for instance, where the outcome of the battle really doesn't concern me, it's just about me having fun, or if I'm in, I don't know, if I'm free marking something, a victory really doesn't mean anything to me, and I won't necessarily throw a game, but it's not like my top priority. My priority is to get as much damage and assisted damage as possible. But like, for instance, in this game, I want to get the win, 100%. And if this was a mouse, for instance, I'll be driving out, not YOLOing it out into the middle, but I, I would be kind of a bit more reckless than I was in this game, where I see a, a flank is completely exposed, and I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to try and protect it because it's exposed and I want the win and I don't want you know long haul op is up in the air people have completed the ops you know um, for the what you call it the, the tier 9 and the tier 10 so they got times 2 XP for the next two months like I do and a lot of people you know they want to get that win they want to get that win so you know there's there's a lot of temptation out there to just get that win at all costs, no matter what the outcome, you know, no matter how much damage you get, etc, etc. Um, especially in this game where uh, we're two days away from the long haul op stopping, so back shot. So I, I do, I am, I do play the game to win, you know, well in this battle anyway. So, just myself up against these guys there's quite a few tanks coming here but they recognize the threat and plus I'm being supported by Artie at the same time and we've got you know the HE shells loaded ready and waiting 
and I know I'm not gonna pen them 100% but I can splash them and I, you know, there you go I splash them for 520 and my weak spot is somewhat exposed but it's at a great distance so it's not a threat I'm safe here from artillery at the same time so there's that can I take care of this guy I should be able to lead the shot lead the shot and there we go that's always good to get the they don't have scout tanks anymore we're losing considerably but as there's not much I can do about that, you know. I can just keep on looking at the square minimap and just hope for the best. And do the job I've assigned myself to do, which is protect this rank, which I can do. No problemo. It's just that if they push through on my left, then I'm kind of exposed. And my job right now is just keep these guys at bay, keep these guys at bay, because if, if they get through me, then that's it, this game is lost, there is a scout tank to my left, you can see him just below me on the mini map, so I'm wondering what's going on there, looks like he's kind of poking the ridge there, and he's kind of like stuck, like a rock in a hard place, he's surrounded by my teammates, Slowly but surely we're kind of pulling it back. There you go, seven to nine. And looks like my team is kind of going the distance. This IS3 is a cool customer, but I'm, I'm not gonna, no. Unless you really, there you go. Pull it out and uh, pull out too far, then yeah. And uh, what is that? tier 9 Italian is kind of going to work on him at the same time from above me and he's done now he's finished and he knows it I'm just gonna splash him he's done and dusty but we're still losing 8 to 11 our dragon dragon doing good work there look at hit points okay he's not a threat the comp panzer wagon whatever it is comp I have got a clue Double checking my rear, making sure nobody's kind of coming through here. All that's left on their team is that medium, which I can't pronounce. The tortoise. I'm not sure what the heavy was. You can see the tortoise is crossing the bridge. And he's on a shed load of hit points. Now there's a possibility I'm gonna expose myself to artillery. And uh yeah, all that's left is our Hardy, which is an equalizer, the T9 Italian, don't ask me, I can't remember the name, and myself, I do have all my hit points intact, so I do have that on my side, managed to successfully fend off, well, it's a conqueror, <laughs> we actually attempt to order aim, and it doesn't work, and Hardy, yeah, there goes Hardy, we could, we could, we could, here he comes. Oh, no, tell What's his name? What's the name of the tank? God damn it. <laughs> and it's the... Oh, the standard B, that's it. It's kind of like a clone of the Leopard PTA. But with an auto loader, of course. So we're do, doing good work. We're defending our base. And it kind of... Uh, the team did well my personal opinion they want the distance they brought it back and we're good to go now all that's left is a tortoise and two pieces of Ari. the tortoise is over here on the bridge obviously unless he's dropped down and kind of did something crazy but he, he doesn't have speed on this side neither do i but i i have a standard b on my side so got this in the back i've got times five xp boosters on this this is my daily double. I have times two XP as well uh, for my first win of the day. So my mentality in this game was win. I gotta win. I gotta win. I wanna get you know that XP. I wanna get the tier ten. Get it done and dusted out of the way. And you can see the equalizer fired off a few shots. Didn't pen of course, but 
every little bit helps. And standard B is on a shed load of, of hit points, which is great. We've got this in the bag, man. It's allowing me to pass. No problemo. I got this. Hopefully, I can pen his upper hatch. Where is he? And all I'm thinking about really is artillery. Yeah, artillery. That. What did that do? Did that. It didn't pen. Kind of hit the top of the new port. But that's okay. We've got 1,500 hit points. He's on 140 hit points. And there's not much that he can do. Sorry, buddy. His team let him down. I wouldn't have liked to have been in his shoes. He must have thought, okay, we've got this in the bag. We're leading. We're leading. We're leading. But kind of like when it counted, I guess, towards the end stages of the game, they just fell apart. You do that often. Which is, you kind of, you think you got it, you got it, it's in the bag, it's in the bag. And you kind of, you take the, your eye off the ball for a second. And before you know it, you're losing. And, uh, you know, it just, you, you need to go the distance. And that's that. You should never take your eye off the ball. And, um, I, I, a lot of times I would do that. And when I, back in the day. I would say, okay, we, we've lost, and I'd have this losing mentality for the rest of the game. And then halfway through the battle, my team would bring it back. And I would say to myself, I'd, I'd try and teach myself, okay, just always think that you're going to win. Always think you're going to beat them, even when, you're, when it's a sure thing that you're going to lose. Because, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, 13,000 XP. Fantastic. Moving up towards the tier 10. Beautiful. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I was looking for. That exact number right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this game, tier 10. Try to play the cool customer. The cool cucumber in this game. Uh, tier 10, Pearl River. And it was kind of sort of the same thing. This was during the string theory ops. This was uh, before I fully upgraded the type four. This is the the fourteen centimeter as opposed to the one uh, the fifteen. Um, with this one, it's six hundred damage. I think it was. So yeah, that, don't ever do what this heavy does, which is you, you kind of you roll right to the front, you expose your tank. And you die within the first two seconds. You, you know, even though you're 50 TP, uh, that position right there, you you just don't know what's on the other side of the valley, which is all the TDs. You can see how many red triangles are up there on the top row. There's a gazillion of them. So first things first, the ship barn. Now I know he's gonna splash me for five six hundred damage, and I'm cool with that. But it's, it's going to take him... It's all about trading. You know. It's all about trading. I could have pulled back all the way. But I, I wanted kind of like situational awareness. And I My mentality was... Just let him splash me. And he splashed me for 500. I do get very lucky here. Uh, I do have premium reloaded. Because my mentality is, like I said. I want to win. I want to win. If I was grinding this tank... For an hour or so, which I don't feel like doing, honestly, I would, uh, you know, I wouldn't be using as much premium. But, but my first win of the day, this was the times two or three string theory stage, had boosters on and all that jazz, and he kind of we we trade again, but I'm kind of in the lead, I think, personally with hit points. Well, we're, we're doing damage to each other. That was my thinking and it kind of, you know, it worked out. I don't want this guy to pen me. He completely misses me. We're good to go. And the question is, where is the ship on? There's no Artie in play. I don't think I'll be doing this if I was Artie. you got to put yourself in the shoes of artillery. That's what I always do, which is 
right now I'll be looking for this tank to poo on because it's big massive and slow and very easy to splash so the ship barn you can see him over to my right mustn't proxy spot him it's not really a danger of me proxy spotting him but where is that heavy where is that heavy what is he up to will he light me up can I pounce on the ship barn and do you eat this no there's nothing there and now the ship barn gets relit. Sorry for saying ship barn. <laughs> and is he gonna turn around and face me? Constantly keeping an eye. And I think he is. I can do 600 damage. He was on 650. So all I need to do is high roll. It's all in the hands of RNG. And he does take a long ass time. To, you know, he could have blasted me. I don't think he would have one shot me angle 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 um. oh somebody's what are they spitting on me from up there and it's what was that like 10 hit points of, I, I haven't got a clue no oh i did wow so he's on 683 with a bit of rng he knows i've fired i can one shot him bounces. We bounce 840, we've done 3k damage already. Now I'm not gonna do what that um, 50 CP did earlier because I know look at there's four TDs and you can bet your little pink socks that they'll across the way there you know. I'm being proxy spotted I believe by the yeah see by the heavy and he, he's basically bait right now. He's just baiting me to come out and attempt to get a shot onto him. But I'm not doing it, you know. Because this right here, this little area here, you know, we could end up losing the game if I pull out here. Because each battle is kind of made up of 50 little mini battles. I've switched to the square mini map, you know, because I need situational awareness about exactly what's going on everywhere and I want my guys to push up the you know the one two line push through and all, all, all I need is patience a bit of patience and a bit of faith because you, you can see they're doing good work you can see where that TD is located so obviously the, the, the final two TDs are the ones that are kind of looking at me that, that that's what I was thinking I do get a little bit reckless here, I believe. But I'm, you know, I've got 852 hit points. I'm good to go. Even if somebody pens me once, you know, because I'm basically a two shot. And there we go, the TDs are slowly getting lit up. Take a look, and it's T9 Chinese. But where's the T9 Waffle? Nah, not gonna work. I pull out way too much here. But it's kind of worth it because I, 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 he's an order loader. He's a medium. He's a threat, big time. Swing your tank around, bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah, a little bit of patience. We're good to go. It's taking 57. Decides finally to grow a pair. I mean, it's safe to do so. Kind of, sort of. The TDs are still out there. The waffle and the. T9 Chinese. We're wiggling, we're wiggling, we're wiggling. We're good, nobody's targeting us. There's the waffle. Ducks behind cover. We're good to go. 3.5k damage, you know, for a tank that I'm grinding. Is he AFK? I don't know if he's AFK. It looks like he's AFK. We've well, just given up. But we're good to go. Waffle's aiming at me, obviously, and he bounces. 500 is added to my reflected damage, def defected damage, or whatever you want to call it, damage. Bounced. And we're good to go. That was pretty decent. 4.6k damage. Very good, 4 kills. Nice bit of XP with my strength theory. And uh, let's see how much we've got. Nice. 9k XP. Very nice, very nice. And oh, the, the silver, I got the silver in that game. 
Very nice. Not bad. Hope you guys enjoyed. A bit slower paced, was it not? Take it easy, guys. Adios, muchachos. Number one spot, of course. Take it easy. <laughs>